What's up, Wayne Barron, Darkface.net, inside of Microsoft Visual Studio 2010, and this is lesson number two for doing VB.net applications. And inside of this project, what we're going to be doing here is that we're going to take off from what we did on the last one. And we're not going to do anything to our main default.aspx page. What we're going to do is that we're going to be working inside of our default.aspx.vb page. What we're going to do here is that we're going to simply indent that and we're going to check and see if the form field has been uh, anything's been done to it and so how you do that is that you do an if my string equals this right here two double quotes together means nothing that means nothing has been inserted equals then uh, response dot right and what we're going to do here is type in please fill in the form field else if information has been written in we're going to respond with that information uh, which is going to be let's see here um, Okay, what this is going to do is that this is going to say thank you for the information and then it is going to display the information. And let's make sure that the information is displayed in a good place. And so that is what we're going to have here. Let's go ahead and save it and then come over here to our project and let's reload it. So. No information, it says please fill in the form field. Um, hello, YouTube. Thank you for your information. Hello, YouTube. All right, that is lesson number two inside of Microsoft Visual Studio, ASP.NET, VB.NET. Bye bye.